Here's a quick video to show you how to read the Z table. Now there are lots of tables still available. Uh, most of these used to be in the back of statistics books and the appendices. So you can still look in books and find physical tables of Z values representing the standard normal probabilities. What we have here uh, is the Z distribution. Uh, that's the curve that we see here. Everything to the left of any value Z is what's going to be contained in the numbers in the table. And so, for example, if you wanted to find a z-score of negative 1.21, you would go all the way down to the z-score negative 1.2, and then up to the column that indicates that digit, in this case 0 0.01, and you would go down to where they meet. And so we could find a value of negative 1.21 to be 0.1131. And so that's how you would read the z-table. Now the first page is all negative values. The second page represents all positive values. And so here we have all of those values greater than zero. So as an example, we could find the z-score of 3.49. Well, that's the largest value that we have in our table, 3.4 and then 9. And that value is 0 0.9998. And so what it represents is almost the com entire complete curve. So you can think about the area of the curve when z is 3.49 is almost 1. Or specifically, it's 0 0.9998.